Good night, princess. Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey. He hasn't left his office in three days. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jody. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. We're right by your side. Helen. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I miss them so much.
The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the Infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space for developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. They told us we were doing the right thing. But all we did was allow the Pentagon alone to control the infra-world. So what are you going to do now? Leave. Go somewhere far away and just try and lead a normal life. <laughs> and what about you? The CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I, mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen, Jody, I, I know it's been complicated between us, and I, I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after. All the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. What about Aiden? I'll get used to him. And I'm sure he'll end up getting used to me. And we, we have something in common. We both care about you. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. I understand. Well, look, whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I... Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Your heart tells you. And you know you made the right decision.
right, here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. <laughs> Whatever Nathan says, be careful. Jody, I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, you no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars. For services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago, I wanted to die too. I cried a lot, banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. Hello, my darlings. Finish my research. You're the only one that can do it. Nathan. No. no. Don't ask me that. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You.
Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Nathan, you're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die! You lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two rolls. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Nathan, if you love them, if you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Hi, Jody. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. We will always grateful for your help. but I didn't want to see. Help me, Nathan. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What are you... What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infra world will spread through our dimension. 
Life and death united in one world. It's not just on the other side. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. Everything is gonna turn out fine. Find something else. Get help. Hurry. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> They have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Hey, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Aiden? Is that you, Aiden? This is a joke, it's not funny. Why would Aiden be here? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Right. Now where? This way. Over there. Okay, I get it. Want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm, I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. 
Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. You gotta get us past Maiden. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? He's done it. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? Cole Freeman and Ryan Clayton? I'm... Sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Um, go on through. Thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. He thinks he's gonna get his family back. We gotta stop him. needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Agent Clayton, that's an order! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. Stop working. I can't stop the condenser or reactivate the field. 
There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. Not now, I don't... Hurry! We're out of time! What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. It should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Oh, come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here let the military clean up their own fucking mess. Jody, no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Ryan? I always figured I'd die a hero. <laughs> center of the dome. No one's ever been before, so there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. We're not coming back.
meant to tell. My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? No. No, I... you so much. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me.
inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. It's too late, Jody. It's too late. Ma fa al ci sale! Ma cartona ti sentitaci! leave each other. Our souls were bound together. I loved you and hated you for years. You were a part of me. I've loved forever. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do.
Jody. Jody. Jody, come here, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. Jody, wake up. There's a world out here. A whole universe of forests and lakes and mountains and rivers. It's all around us. You just have to listen carefully to hear its whisper. Neither heaven nor hell. There's no god or devil. Just a place where we continue to exist after we die. My soul explores it endlessly, and I've still only seen a fragment of it. I can be everywhere and nowhere. I can dissolve into nothing or become whole again. I can merge my soul with others or, or be more alone than any human being has ever been. All this is possible merely by the force of my will. I continue to look through to your world. I watch over those I love. I'd like them to know I'm there, that I'm okay. To hold them in my arms one more time tell them how much I miss them. But I have to settle for being close by, invisible, transparent, no more than a fading memory. I know what has been and what is yet to be. I know all the possibilities. I can see the darkness coming. I must stay a while longer. There is still a part to play. Before I can leave to discover what lies beyond. Sometimes, I could spend hours staring into space, watching the images as they go by. But 
replay over and over again, like a TV that's never turned off. I don't know why I'm seeing all this, but there's one thing I do know. It all really happened. When I'm alone, I listen to the voice inside my head. She talks to me. She says there are things I need to know. Sometimes I shut my eyes and it's as if I could fly. I can go through walls. I see beautiful colors around people and I discover faraway places without ever leaving my room. The voice told me not to tell anyone. I'm really scared, especially at night when I'm alone with the shadows. There are things moving in the darkness, strange noises, whispers in the dark. The voice says it's nothing, that it'll all go away, but she won't tell me what these things are. And I'm too scared to ask. I often have the same dream. Everything seems so real. The sounds, the smells, the light. Deep down, I know it's not just a dream. It's like an echo. An echo of things to come. I must get ready. I know there's not much time. There's only one thing I can be sure of. I will never be alone again. so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? We're not coming back. It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here! I can't do it, babe. She's more than amazing. She's magnificent.